The Pierce DuPont House is one of the best artifacts on the property to learn about Longwood's history. The Pierce family built the original 18th century colonial dwelling and planted the surrounding arboretum in the 19th century. Longwood founder Pierre S. DuPont purchased the property in 1906 and then modernized and doubled the size of the house. The evolution of the home tells the story of life on the Longwood property and grand visions for the future. Four major periods of construction have been identified, covering nearly 200 years. The original two-story brick farmhouse was built by Joshua Pierce in 1730. Records indicate the house was constructed near or adjacent to an early log cabin built in 1709. The house had two rooms on the first floor and three on the second. The Pierce house had similar characteristics to other 1730s dwellings in the region, such as its north-south orientation, and it likely had a pent roof. The brick pattern is a Flemish bond with dark glazed headers. Records indicate a two-story addition was added in 1764, although few details are known. We have a date stone with the year 1764 inscribed, assumed to have been installed at the time and removed with later additions. Joshua and Samuel Pierce added a two-story addition to the house in 1824. This large-scale addition changed the overall form of the house and nearly doubled its size. The roof was raised and its overhang broadened. Records also mention an 1837 edition of a kitchen on the east end. The earliest known photos of the house are from circa 1880 to 1888, which features many of the 19th century editions. The house had been in the family for more than 100 years, and the property was still used as a working farm when brothers Joshua and Samuel Pierce started planting an arboretum. The arboretum became known as Pierce's Park and the parties and picnics held here were frequent Chester County social events. The Pierce family lived in the house until around 1897. The property was left vacant and the arboretum was in need of maintenance. When Pierre Dupont heard that the property was slated to be sold for lumber, he quickly made efforts to purchase it and to save the trees. He would name his newly purchased farm Longwood and began to indulge his interest in horticulture. Longwood soon became his retreat from the business world and a place where he could entertain his family and friends. In 1909, he upgraded the home with a two-story service addition to the north that expanded the kitchen area, adding second-floor bedrooms, plumbing, electricity, and heating to the entire house. The largest addition was built by Pierre Dupont in 1914. A mirror image of the original farmhouse was added to the north and the two wings were connected by a central courtyard conservatory. The two-story addition of 11 major rooms included new living quarters, the library, and the Eastern Grand Stairway. Pierre Dupont was keen to incorporate modern technology into his addition, such as heating and mechanisms to control the climate in the new conservatory. He built a bowling alley in the basement, much to the delight of his nieces and nephews. Today, the house remains a symbol of those who once inhabited it. Look closely at the architecture on the house's exterior, and you'll see brickwork seams where additions extended the original 1730 structure and beyond. Inside, original molding and flooring add character to reimagined gallery spaces, where today, visitors can explore the story of this property and its stewardship.